Hey leader, now that you've made a big investment in SharePoint as a knowledge hub for your team, it's time to rehabilitate the user experience for your users. So like it or not, the world has changed and users now expect to interact with your content and data in a different way. They wanna do so using AI. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use Copilot with SharePoint to make a better user experience for your employees. Let's face it, employees spend a lot of time searching for the right document, looking for the right version, trying to find a specific policy in SharePoint. They know the information exists, but the folder structure doesn't match how they think. They're searching for an answer that's in a long PDF file somewhere, or maybe lost in an outdated file. At the same time, outside of work, your employees are getting used to a new experience where they're interacting with a chatbot that's serving them up answers in plain English. Naturally, they're gonna get used to this approach and they're gonna have that same expectation at work. Once the expectation is there and you're not meeting it, the frustration will grow and productivity will suffer. If you wanna know how you can meet that expectation in the workplace, you're in the right place. In this video, I focus on SharePoint and Copilot, but there are so many other tools in the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, it can be overwhelming. Knowing what to use and when to use it are questions that we get all the time. That's why we created the 365 Foundations course. It teaches you all the things you need to know so that you can understand Microsoft 365 so you don't get in over your head. Check a link in the description below. For a long time, search has been a key feature of SharePoint. It's why we spend so much effort in tagging our content and thinking more deeply about the site structure that we put together. That's all great, and site structure and content tagging are gonna to prove to be a good investment, but like it or not, people don't use search anymore. Even in the most common search engines, the top results are being returned by some AI chatbot, and now that's coming to the back office in the form of Copilot agents. Overall, this user experience is better. It's generally more conversational, sometimes might feel more personal to the user, and it's quickly emerging as a preferred method to get answers to our questions. It's a reality that the next best thing to interacting with a human is interacting with something that's human-like. The term that we use to describe this change would be agentification. So we can actually apply agentification to our SharePoint content and enable your users to stop searching and start asking. So how does this work with SharePoint? Well, the place to start is with ready-made agents. And if you're not familiar with these, uh, these are gonna start showing up in your Copilot menu at the top of all of your SharePoint sites. It's important to note that these are scoped for the site that the user is on. Uh, and then also all of the content or the answers to any questions that the user might ask the agent is gonna be security trim based on the user's access to the content on your SharePoint sites. Also note that these are not free. Uh, so these are only gonna be enabled if your IT admin has enabled this through a pay-as-you-go plan uh, with credits assigned, monthly credits, or if you have users who have been assigned named Copilot licenses. So as you can see in this example, I simply asked The Wire what the company holidays were, and it did a great job of returning that list of uh, paid holidays for the organization. It was the answer I was looking for. You'll also notice that there are some prompts here that are suggested by this agent. But what if I wanna customize this, or what if I wanna point this at some additional content, or provide more specific or guided responses? That's where we'll get into the next thing where we can create a custom agent. So when it comes to creating a custom agent, you can do that from that same Copilot menu. Um, and you'll have an option here alongside the existing out-of-the-box agent to create an agent. And if we go, go in here and edit this agent, we can give it a name, uh, we can provide a specific purpose, um, we can also give it specific sources. So if we wanted to point it at a specific site uh, or even a specific document, we could do that. If you wanted to create something that was specific to the employee handbook or something like that, it just depends on what our desire is. We can also define the behavior for it. So we can define some specific prompts. So if you're creating something for your corporate intranet, for example, where you wanna focus your users on some key questions that are commonly asked, like where do I find the time off request form? Or what are the company holidays, for example? You could provide those prompts and give the user a quick way uh, to get the answers to those specific questions. So as you can see, this is fairly simple and straightforward. A couple areas of caution when thinking about using SharePoint and Copilot, and that is, first and foremost, don't go crazy creating a bunch of different SharePoint agents. Uh, that's ultimately just gonna be messy to manage and confusing for your users. The second thing would be, don't assume that you can create an end-all be-all agent that's gonna cover everything in your organization and be the global intranet or global corporate knowledge base agent. Uh, for your organization. If you really need something like that, you wanna probably start first with Copilot Studio and think a little bit more deeply about 
the types of questions or prompts your users are gonna feed into it, and then also the sources that you're connected to and the overall efficiency of retrieving answers for those prompts. Um, ultimately, there is a cost associated to this, uh, especially in the pay-as-you-go model where uh, efficiency will really matter um, in that case. And the only way to do that well is to use something like Copilot Studio to be a little bit more thoughtful about how your agent works. And there's one additional benefit of using something like Copilot Studio to create an agent independent of SharePoint, and that gives you the ability to put that agent anywhere in your digital landscape. So within Teams or other tools, not just within SharePoint. But more on that in a future video. All right, and one little pro tip before we go. So these Copilot agents, if you create them, they're actually created inside of your site assets library. So rather than an agent existing in the Power Platform, like it would if you created it with Copilot Studio, it will exist under site contents in your site assets library within a Copilot's folder. And so this is the place where you would actually need to go to delete this agent if you wanted to get rid of it, or if you wanted to apply unique permissions to it, which we don't recommend. Uh, but note here that this agent is created as a part of your SharePoint site. It's not created in OneDrive. This is an asset that is organizational in nature. Uh, so that harkens back to some of the teachings that we offer in our 365 Foundations course as well. Okay, let's wrap this up. If there's anything I want you to take away from this video, it's first, what you saw today shouldn't be thought of as an all-encompassing intranet AI chatbot. And if that's something that you're looking for, you should think a little bit more deeply. That's gonna take a little bit more work and effort to do. And the last takeaway is the biggest winners of, in all of this are gonna be your employees. The ability of an AI chatbot to hold a conversation with your team that is based on your organization's knowledge and culture is a huge level up. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And be sure to check out our 365 Foundations course if you wanna know more about how to use Microsoft 365 in your workplace. As always, we welcome any comments you have on this video. And if you have any specific feedback about uh, agentification with SharePoint or using agents for your intranet or other organizational knowledge dissemination, we'd be interested to hear those post in the comments below.